Hi, this is Lost in Electronics. Uh, today we're going to be going through a Ubiquiti update, which is Unified. Uh, Unified Dream Machine Pro 1.9.3 with a uh, uh, network upgrade of 6.1.71. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go through what has changed here, which we can always think here. It looks like it has fixed a few things here. Uh, fixes the issues with uh, Chromebooks can't connect to VPNs or VDMs. It looks like they have had a couple uh, backup issues that they had, and they look like they fixed some of the WAN IP address uh, information here for I uh, can't display in the information. So it looks like they did have some kind of basic upgrades here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I want to do it by SSH because I've already SSH'd into my or secure shell on uh, my, uh, to be able to update this here. So we're going to go ahead and pull that. Um, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to follow the guide, which is going to be here. We're going to go ahead and grab the upgrade uh, uh, ubiquity here. So we're going to go ahead and grab that URL here quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and paste our update here. So what's going to happen, you'll see it will take a few minutes and we'll go ahead and grab it. We are pulling the updates here. It's going to take a few moments to take our update here. My device is saying we updated the firmware. It's now upgrading the file here. We'll go ahead and go through the changes here. And these community release information notes, I will copy and put it into the link. So if you want to see here, uh, we can go in through this here and it will have, uh, we'll keep on doing here. And this is, uh, looks like it is a rolling release. So everyone eventually will get it. I just like showing what everyone's going to be like before they do upgrades. So if they do have auto updates and see if they want to update. I prefer not to have auto updates, but I do constantly do uh, go through it so that we can, when it does pull the upgrade, we can actually see this here. What you'll see here in a second is when this comes online here. And you can tell right now it's taking my upgrade here because you can see the page that my where my router is hasn't came back up yet. It will come back up any moment because it is ta it takes a few minutes for firmware upgrades. So we're going to go ahead and go, since we get up to this here, after this takes a quick update here, we will show the new version after this upgrades here. It does take a few moments for everything to come through. So when this is happening, we'll just go ahead and review here what, what this is actually fixed. It can skip the backup and restore during the setup process or no available backups. It can fix the issues with the remote users for the VPN or disconnection occasionally. It fixes issues with Chromebooks that can't connect to VPNs uh, or UDMs. This fixes the issue that selected on for Sunday backups. This is a fix that LCMs can't connect to this uh, display WAN IP in some cases. It fixes the, LC the LCM wrong show uh, shows updates available when actually no updates available here. This is how you can actually update, which you can see I've just SSH'd into it. So it's going to take a few moments. We should have the we should be able to see the web page here momentarily. And it is still working on the update, so it will take a few minutes here. This is the first time I tried this, so it's not like we I have done pre-recorded anything. This is a live, actually updating to at least when I record in this video. You can see it's April 3rd at 1.30 a.m. It'll take a few minutes after this video records for me to post it. We have had some, we're working with uh, there. 
other projects I've been working on here that we'll have videos in the future about. I'm going to have a talk about how to mine with your CPU and GPUs. I think mining is kind of important, or not really important, but uh, a good way if you have an extra equipment, equipment to kind of make a little bit of extra cash in there. And uh, uh, from those, it's I think it's everything. Everyone should utilize your computer's hardware. And these are videos are based off of Linux here. Um, there is, we got other videos that'll be coming on the way. I'll be trying to do anytime I see any kind of major updates or any kind of uh, new stories about that I think it's important about our hardware or any kind of news coming out there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to lease those a little bit more often. At least we're going to try to have a goal of getting a video at least once a week. It may take sometimes longer depending on what content is out for that week. Happily, the nice thing that Big we did lease this update, so it's uh, we can see. Hopefully, we'll see how everything's working here in a few minutes. It looks like it should be back up here momentarily here, and there we are. We can see you can see right now that we are up to version six point one point seven one here, and we're at one point nine point three. We can tell that because you can see our version number here you can tell our utilization memory temperature or uh, CPU at load so it's not barely doing anything in the background now let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like on our interface now doesn't seem like as much has happened here really in the in the dashboard here Downloading, uploading, tells you the peak usage, tells you the uh, for the average and what you personally have and what we normally run uh, for uploads at peak. Same thing for download and upload. You can see here all the devices that you used on my network. Utilization on the network in the last 24 hours. System ups times because we have there. You can see here if you want to go ahead and take a look at it. Here's the Xbox. You can see how much... Uh, one of my Xbox is downloaded right here, and this is how much my, uh, you can always tell how much my son's downloaded here on his uh, um, Smooth Cat, which is, if you like his, con if you want to be able to kind of support his channel, his, uh, his is Smooth Cat Gaming. Um, this is his internet usage, you can tell here. So you can tell all the connections. Here's all the things that connected that's mostly been going through my network so it looks like somebody has been on minecraft recently pokemon to go we've got some battlefield here electronic arts war thunder you can tell if somebody i don't even know why we have somebody must have had a uh, madden uh nfl in the background at one point for an ad you can tell how much nintendo you can see these are definitely my kids there and he's downloaded about 242 gigs today so he's downloaded a lot of traffic not huge but at least a little bit you can see all the neighbors wireless networks here which is important I always look at the IDS and this is a intrusion detection system it's done a really good job of uh, trying to stop attacks and traffic so it's done a pretty good it's done a really good job there go ahead and tech we can look at it all or Network names, eventual networks really quickly. Doesn't seem like there's much has changed. Threat management's the same. Network scanners the same. Firewalls the same. Doesn't see that really that much here. Advanced. Got our internet. See there. Alerts, configuration controller, mail server, devices, SSHing, NTP server. That's if you wanted to see your time server, you can always edit your own links there. Gateway, remote logging. Manage features. Okay, 
little source net here. We don't need that right now. Let's see here, UPGMP. I don't know why we're having this. We're going to go ahead and just disable that. We don't need that for any reason. So we're going to get rid of UPMP. We'll have to manually put it in our ports. And everything else is looking good here for what I can see. Tells us our error codes. Tells us our disconnection. Tells you up there. We can see our firmware. Kind of tells our whole logs. Really hasn't been much has been changed. Here's our dashboard again here. Let's go ahead and just run a speed test. tell much how much bandwidth somebody's using somebody's definitely playing on my internet right now because I can see it spiking for a second and then going back again so we can definitely see that that experience here here's all my networks and how all my devices break down yeah my switch my uh, my uh, access point and there so we have our connection displays and show how displays work you can break down even more. Tells me what networks and what devices are on it. And this is going to be our video for the day. And what we're going to be doing here is this is kind of showing here. If you want to, like, you know, everyone to see what everyone's doing, you can very easily do this. Tell us wherever they've, uh, what's been on the network, call your network traffic. So it kind of breaks it down. Web filtering, kind of this basic data usage, top applications. You can see every one of these top applications what's being used AW, Amazon. So you can see there. See my network mainly is being used for video streaming and gaming, so it's uh there it's uh where well, things are so that you it's uh again there's not really much has changed in this this unified uh, system over here. Active clients, you can see the five gigahertz, two point four on the bar graph are all. You can see if anybody's using it. You can direct down based off of devices, wired connections, wireless connections, and guest. So there's not really much going on in my network. That's clients active. We can see all the active clients right now. If you want to see what's going on or you want to see configurations, we can see that one. Want to do anything, you can go and say, hey, let's go ahead and we can do a couple different things. You can block it. You can click on unauthorized if you want to kick them out, or you can click on this one and reconnect them in case that you want to go in here. And this is pretty much my video for the night. We're just going to go ahead and, so again, there's not much has changed. We went through all the controller versions. Isolation there, isolation networks. I don't try to don't don't use Wi-Fi AI. I do have a capability of it, but again, I don't have very many wireless networks in my area, so I prefer to configure it myself. 
network settings users user you're logging with go to settings see settings there's not really much out there updates don't use protect in there uh, don't use uh, protect I don't use access I don't use talk well, actually, this kind of tells you if you want you want to allow this to update yourself. I prefer to update myself. Again, this is version uh, 1.9.3, and the firmware is up to date here. And we done all the updates for our system here. So, this is what this video is about um, about upgrade updating to again to your version of 1.9.3 and 6.1.71. Here is our just a normal other kind of key information here. Controller firmware releases. So these are these are what the actual release for will be only be there. These are the things that has been improved. We improved the guest portal. We have an added early warning uh, warning of DHCP pool and porting page spinner imported memory controller usage fixes advanced setup fixes issues with incorrect showing automatic updates uh, fix busy state button uh, fixes uh, ready calculation so fix the devalizer stable stable import uh, port for unified unified OS running time fixes uh, remote access there fixes email and push notification via Doom Pro fixes LCM backlight and uh, statistics updates and adjusts data reports for LCM and minor bug fixes here. So all updates with 1.6 are required to back up, upgrade, and then factory default here. Here's your instructions we found. So this is just something that I always do. Again, it is always a good idea is to always make sure you always pull back up just in case you have a problem so we'll kind of do that myself here always download it to your local machine that way if you have a problem running problems you can get right back to them system settings controller configurations wrong site sometimes you get it wrong there maintenance Always want to make sure we have the available firmware. Here's the cache firmware. Check for updates. Update the devices. Support information. Download system configuration. That's what we're going to do here. And we're going to save that. logs advanced features you can always see here advanced gateway and again the internet security network Unified, and you can always go the back to our classic view. Okay. There's back to our classic view again. And we'll go ahead and go to backups. We're always going to go and download here. Again, these are things that we want to do here. Save. And we're going to save one of our other files here, just again, 
These are things just make sure you ever once in a while do just to make sure that you have updates. Maintenance, control, devices. Let's go ahead and come on back to my database. Yes, confirm. And we'll go ahead and just do this here. Power changes. Don't like that background color, but this is how you can change colors in here. Again, you want this to make sure this is what it looks like if you want to have the light theme. So again, these are just the normal ones here. We're going to go back to use, go back to our normal dark theme again, light changes, and we're back to where we had it before here. So everything's looking good. Everything looks nice. And we're back to there. So this is going to be the end of the video about just going and about upgrading to our version again. A uh, version 6.1.71 and a version uh, which is that's the, the network version. And then the version for the actual UDM Pro is 1.9.3. You can see our name of the devices and has our information. It has your there. Choose use utilization here and you can tell that this has a pretty good temperature. The CPU usage is very low and using about half her memory right now. So um, this is going to be the end of this video for how to upgrade and is it time to upgrade or not.